Now, when Ranveer Singh partnered with professional dancer Giovanni Panice, for, I always say that in an Italian accent, so it's so much nicer. For last year's Strictly, she said she'd never felt more confident. Today, the man responsible will be telling and showing us why his moves can lift your spirits. Morning, Giovanni, or afternoon, should I say. How are you? Afternoon, afternoon, afternoon. I'm very good, thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Oh, not at all. Well, I have to say, I'm a bit of a, you know, a dab hand now at your dance classes because me and my daughter Grace, uh, we did a week of the classes and I have to say, I was terrible. <laughs> Ter oh, is that dreadful bra again? <laughs> it's going to haunt me forever, that clip. My, it was very interesting for me, though, because our age was very... Our age difference was very apparent, because, um, obviously, fitness-wise, she's a lot fitter than I am, but I... She remembered all the moves really, really easily, and I just forgot everything straight away. It, it, it's, a, it's a young person's game, isn't it, dancing? It's not. It's not at all, actually, Jane. I mean, watch, watch the video back. You, you're doing all the steps right. Mm -hmm. And this is what dance is about. Yes, it's a, good, it's a good exercise for your body, but as well for your brain, because you have to concentrate. You have to learn new steps. You know, it's not just about the physical side of it. It's also about the brain. You need to keep concentrating. You have to learn new skills. Yeah. So I think it's for everybody. It's for everybody. And uh, you're doing great. Oh, well, thank you for lying. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you've obviously been doing it for a lot of years. And then I suddenly realised, because we, we were doing the Charleston there, just in case anyone was wondering, and I realise now that you hold the Guinness World Record for Charleston kicks. Is that right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a jabs, kicks and... Actually, I've got two of them. One for jabs, kicks and flicks, and the other one for Charleston swivels. So, basically, it's how many Charleston swivel you can do in 30 seconds. And uh, I'm the Guinness World Record holder at the moment. So don't try to beat me, please, because I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> Giovanni, there's always rumours about, you know, there's, there's rumours with the romance with this one and rumours with the romance with that one. Um, you know, of your partners, do you keep in touch with any of them? Are you still in touch with any of them? Of course. I do keep in touch with all of them because it would be pointless not to keep in touch after you spend eight, ten hours a day uh, with the same person in the studio. You know, you end up with a good, very good friendship. And, um, yeah, of course, you keep in touch with all of them. Now, you, we just heard earlier a very, very lovely tribute to you from Ranveer. Um, I'm wondering if you're up for a same-sex uh, partner next time around. Um, because we've, so far we've only seen Katya and Nicola Adams. Don't you think it's time for... You know, a bloke to dance with you? I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, what I'm up for. I'm up for, for a change. I'm up for something different. Um, and last year, Nicole and Carter did a fantastic job. Shame for what happened. They had to leave the show. But I think we are ready for uh, new things to challenge ourselves as well. Because obviously, dancing with a man, we, ch we challenge me more than anybody else. Because you have to make the choreography um, suitable for both of us, if it makes sense. So I'm used to obviously to do with a girl, but with a boy would be uh, interesting to see. So yes, if the BBC, uh, the BBC knows what they're doing, you know, they know exactly if it's the right time to do. And if they come to me and say, Giovanni, we we'll love you to dance with that, with a man, I will definitely do it. A particular dream partner in mind? <laughs> I always say that I want to dance with the Queen, <laughs> with Elizabeth, the Queen. No, I um, mean, I mean, as in a man. Oh. No, mm, well, I did. I did an interview saying I want to dance with Piers Morgan. Um, Piers because Morgan. I, uh, well, funny, yeah. you should, funny you should say I, that because uh, I texted Piers before coming on air uh, to, to say that Giovanni would like to dance with you, and this is what he said: "I'm ready. <laughs> I've already done a same-sex sizzle. I did the Paso Doble on the dance floor with Bruno mm -hmm. at my fiftieth, and he said I had magnificent moves." <laughs> So he said, uh, I think he also called me a stylish stallion too. So there you go, Giovanni, you've got your partner. <laughs> you've got somebody with that experience already, you see? Perfect. Now, I think, I think it would be interesting to see Piers because he's a, he's a fantastic, you know, he's a very strong character and I'm a massive, you know, massive fan of his career. So it would be interesting to spend time with him in the studio and I'm sure he can dance. Fabulous. Well, Paris has got a question Giovanni, now. I was wondering, Yes, I was asked to do one of these shows one time, but
But I've never ever had any dance training at all and I completely thought, no way, I can't learn, I'm 31 year old, I can't learn steps. Is it a possibility? Can I learn the steps? You seem to be confident. I think I think this is the this, this is the point of the show. You know, you come there with no dance experience, and uh, this is our job to make you look fantastic. You see, um, I loved what Ranga did last year because she didn't have any dance experience at all, and by the end of the show, she ended up to be a you know a beautiful dancer. So I think if you love dancing and if you love music, you definitely have to give a go. I'm ready. <laughs> Fabulous. Um, and Giovanni, I know you're going to be uh, possibly doing a tour with Anton later this year, so people should keep an eye out for that. But uh, you're going to show us some moves today. So... OK, so I'm terrified now after seeing that. <laughs> <laughs> so what dance are we learning, Giovanni? We're doing the salsa. This is something easy, OK? So we start with the left foot forward, and we go forward, replace, back. And then we go back with the right, and we go back, replace, close. Okay, one more time. So if we go one, two, three, one, two, three. Now we do the same thing from the side, and we go left foot to the side. So one, replace, close, and now we go right, right, replace, close. Okay, let's try everything from the beginning again. So forward and back, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Go to the side, one, two, three, one, two, three. From there we do. Shimmy, shimmy. Who doesn't love the shimmy? Everybody loves the shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. And from there we go hips, hips, hips. Oh. Yeah? So four times, two times for one and back, two times to the side, shimmy and hips. Can we do it now? Can we have another practice, please? <laughs> please. Okay, five, six, seven, go. One and two, two. three and four. Side oh. and <laughs> Side there. There we go. Try shimmy, 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 hips, 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 hips. Janet, you're doing fantastic. Oh. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> right now, no, I can do the hip bit. Off. Is it with the music now, right? She's got it. <laughs> uh, what are the scores there, Giovanni? It's a 10 for me. It's a 10 for me. You old charmer. Thank I like you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Giovanni.